Um, what message does the president have to give to make people get it that we are in a better place now? Yeah. Well, we are in a better place now, and what you're saying is true, and we have to get out that message. One of the things that keeps sticking to him, which irritates me, <laughs> is that um, about his age, I about know. his age, that really drives me nuts, because I'm the same age as, mm -hmm. as your husband. <laughs> but what do we have to do to tell people that the man is competent, alert, and doing the job? I believe that Americans are going to choose good over evil. Yes. I believe Trump said that he would jail protesters. Yes. If he won. Yeah. Yes, he oh. did. Well, that's probably Am I where correct? it just Correct. Start, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I mean, Start. including okay, us. That's another right being yeah. taken yes. away if he's yeah. there. Yeah. Joe is going to fight to, for climate change. Mm -hmm. And Joe against climate change. And so, um, and he's, Joe supports education. Joe supports health care. I mean, that's why Joe is doing this for the future of America, for, you know, for the youth. So, uh, those are the things I think that. Uh, the youth uh, care student about. Student loan forgiveness. Stu yes, thank you, student, yeah, student loan forgiveness. Student loan forgiveness. I yeah. mean, all of these things Joe's working for yeah. to so, make our planet safer. I mean, this is what, you know, the things that he's working for and uh, working against, uh, you know, that we don't have automatic rifles. Automatic rifles? Really? So that, yeah. you know, that our kids are safe. Yeah, those got hit with the ban back in 1934 with the National Firearms Act. This law made it hard as hell to own or transfer automatic weapons. Then in 1986, the Firearm Owners Protection Act with the Hugh Amendment made it even harder. It said no more new machine guns for civilians after May 19th, 1986. We're in 2024. So if you didn't have an automatic rifle before, then you're kind of SOL. All those made before? Yeah, they're still out there, but good luck getting your hands on one without jumping through a ton of hoops and paying obscenely high prices. We're talking forty to 100000 depending on the make and the model. Now, name the last school shooting, or mass shooting for that matter, where the shooter used an automatic rifle. I'm not going to bother waiting on your answer because you can't because it hasn't happened. Ironically, the times it has happened, it was in other countries like the 2004 school siege in Russia and in the 1990s where the Perland school shooting happened in the Philippines. So no, Jill, no one is committing school shootings in America with automatic rifles or automatic anything. Another irony is that the crimes that are being committed with automatic anything are being committed with automatic handguns. Now, I can hear some anti-gunners now saying, See, gun laws do work because no one is using automatic rifles because they're so tightly regulated. Except there are crimes being committed with automatic handguns, which are modified with parts you can have shipped from China or made at home. It's not the laws, they're just a fewer number of people who know how to convert a semi-automatic rifle to an automatic rifle. But you can easily convert a Glock handgun to full auto in minutes, which goes to show how ineffective gun laws are at stopping people from getting their hands on guns, even the ones that are exceedingly tightly regulated like automatic handguns. Jill is clearly talking about semi-automatic rifles, but I'm not surprised she doesn't know what she's talking about when her husband is giving her advice like this. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells, a 12 gauge shotgun. The vice president said that is exactly what he told his wife to do. I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not gonna, you don't need an AR-15. Her husband has had a hard on for banning AR-15s for decades because they look similar to an automatic rifle, but calling an AR-15 an automatic rifle or an assault weapon is like calling a gray wolf a dog. I also find it interesting that when they are talking about how Donald Trump said he would arrest protesters, they were so worried about people's rights being taken away, then immediately follow it up with banning the most popular rifle in America. Uh, working against uh, you know, that we don't have automatic rifles so that, yeah. you know, that our kids are safe. Hello? Is the Second Amendment not a right to you? But who am I kidding? I already know the answer to that. They treat the Bill of Rights like the menu of a buffet where they can pick and choose which rights people should have based on their personal beliefs. Because AR-15s are scary, take them away from everyone. Even though handguns are the most common weapon type used in mass shootings in the United States, with a total of 166 different handguns being used in 116 incidents between 1982 and December 2023, meaning handguns are involved in about 78% of mass shootings. But who needs
needs logic when fear works so much better. Now, none of you all should be surprised that I wore my favorite Joe Biden shirt in this video. I gotta say, if you ask me, I think the Let's Go Brandon political meme is the funniest political meme ever created known to man, which is why I created the 2 way version of the Let's Go Brandon meme. And we're definitely gonna need this coming up in this current election. That being said, right now at MrColeonNoir.com, we are having a flash sale. That means right now at shop.mrcoleonnoir, you get 15% off of your entire purchase when you use the code DADDAYT. Now, on top of that, if if that order contains a t-shirt, any t-shirt like this, let's go Brandon t-shirt, then you also get a free CN white t-shirt or a white amosexual t-shirt as well. So click the link in the description section of this video and take advantage of the sale before it ends. Hurry up, go. One thing's for certain and two things are for sure. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.